So, all right, let's uh, check on the forecast now. We're hoping there's room for the temperatures to go up, Ross. Yeah, Penn State's 14, by the way. Just want to let you know. So. Uh -huh. Thanks for the update. It's, Appreciate it's it. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, a more important update, of course, on the weather is we're off to another calm start to the day out there. We do have mostly clear skies, so it would have been perfect if we would have seen this clearing yesterday morning for that total lunar eclipse. But, you know, tons of cool pictures out there. A lot of people have been sending them my way. Keep them coming. I love, love seeing that as we're looking at, you know, something that we don't see very often. So we still have that full moon out there, though, so definitely helping to make things a little bit more vibrant and lighter outside early this morning. But we are waking up to an even colder start for some of us out there. Let's look at those temperatures. 31 in Athens, 32 in Logan, 39 in Lancaster, 35 in Circleville, 41 in Chillicothe, 43 in Coshocton, 30 degrees in Cambridge, especially to the south and east. That's where we're dealing with some cooler, drier conditions. So if you're seeing some of those red flag warnings, again, that's because low humidity, somewhat breezy winds, allowing for some fuel for fires to be spread very easily. So definitely not a day that you want to be doing any outdoor burning. And especially as we head into this afternoon, definitely a day where you're going to need those sunglasses. Highs are going to be in the mid 60s for us today. Mostly sunny. We'll spend most of our time in the afternoon into the 60s and perhaps into the early part of the evening hours. So looking like a pretty nice day for us. And then not as chilly as we head into tonight. Those winds will stay relatively light out of the south going into the day. Then as we head into your Thursday, warmer weather as those highs will be a little bit closer to 70 degrees. So we're going to continue to see a somewhat little warm up before the big cool down comes our way. But looks like Thursday a great day, perhaps maybe putting up some of those or taking down some of those uh, outdoor decorations because Friday not looking like the best day that you're going to want to be doing any outdoor uh, activities or projects. And once we head into the weekend, this is going to be a taste of what not we're going to be dealing with just on Sunday and Monday, but perhaps all of next week. So we're really going to flip the script from well above average to start the month of November to well below for us. And it comes as soon as this Saturday where highs are only going to be into the mid 40s for us. So a lot of this has to do with a cold front that's going to be coming through. It's really not working with a lot of moisture, but what is is what will be the remnants of potential Hurricane Nicole, still a tropical storm expected to close in on the north uh, northern parts of the Bahamas in towards southeastern Florida as we head into the late parts of tonight, early tomorrow morning. But the remnants of the system, that's what's going to be offering us potentially a decent amount of rain. Now, models have been trending that we'll at least see some of this rain coming through as we head into Friday morning. So next 48 hours from now, could be a pretty wet start to the day for the commute out there. So something to keep an eye out for. Definitely want to kind of plan to allow some extra time for your morning drive, especially in southeastern Ohio, where it looks like most of the heaviest rain will be located at. That rain could very well linger through a good chunk of the day for us as well and really not start to wrap up until late into the evening in southeastern Ohio. It looks like this will be a mainly morning afternoon event for us here in Columbus. That cold front will then come through, bringing in that drier frigid air for us and likely a relatively cloudy start to the weekend. But just looking at some rough estimations for our rainfall amounts pretty much through central Ohio, it's looking like we could see up to about an inch, inch and a half of rain up to. So again, we could see some wiggle room with this, where if it even just slightly starts to shift a little bit further to the east, we could be looking at some huge differences in our rainfall totals. And just like what I said yesterday, it's very important to pay uh, close attention to the system because each update is crucially important because we can start to see some trends. And if we continue to see models uh, go in the same line as far as the trajectory and timing, a lot more confidence in the forecast will then be possible. But you can see virtually no measurable rain up towards Toledo, where we could be looking at rainfall amounts in excess of two and a half, possibly three inches down towards Marietta. So just across the state, we could be looking at no rain to, you know, possibly some flash flooding rainfall in some spots. So we're kind of right in the middle where it looks like we will see a decent amount of rain come through. Certainly something that, you know, will be nice to see some of that rain. But when we're looking at a lot of rain after drought conditions, that's where we could be looking at some flooding concerns. So we are going to be keeping an eye out for that on Friday. I've bumped up the rain chances to about 80% for us. It's not going to be a very chilly day. We're not going to have to worry about, you know, any flash freezing or anything like that. But it will feel like it's freezing out there considering how we're going to go from the upper 60s for your Thursday to the mid 40s by Saturday. We'll continue to hang out in the 20s for our overnights and then likely hanging out in the low to mid 40s for our high for several days, if not most of next week, and then potentially seeing another rain mix event going into Tuesday and then staying frigid through the rest of the week.